Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings and I'm going to kind of take you for a walk through some of the projects that we have going on here right now at Garden Crossings. Uh, so in the winter, this is a time where we do a lot of building, constructing, deconstructing, reconstructing, and uh, just getting things done. Uh, that's all in addition to the team who's out there planting and maintaining all the plants. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of take you for a walk through the projects that have been going on. Uh, kind of a step-by-step -step thing where we'll piece different days and times together so that way you can um, see the progress as the projects are going along. So let's take a look and see what we're going what we have going on. So we're going to start off with the front of the garden center. So this project I probably should have started uh, taking videos of much earlier um, but I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen that will show you what this space looked like before we ripped it all apart and rebuilt it. Um, so the greenhouse really, and I should say garden center, part of the greenhouse really looked like a very um, country kind of look to it. It had been here for, let's see here, 23, 23 or 24 years. And it was just time now to kind of give it a fresh, new, more modern look. And uh, so that's what we did. So it wasn't only about the look of the greenhouse, it was also about the practicality. So along the front here, there was just a couple small windows um, all the way up at the top at those peaks of the greenhouse that was all covered in board. So really there was like not a lot of light that went through this space and airflow was very minimal. So obviously when you're growing plants, you need a lot of light because that's what makes them grow. And airflow is helpful, not only for the plants, but also for the, the team that's working in the store. Um, it keeps them cooler. So in the spring, maybe not such a big deal, but as you get going on through the summer, you definitely wanna have that airflow to keep things nice and cool. So what we did here is we put some siding up. We did some shake there up at the top and then the board and batten um, on the edges. We have a couple functional windows here. Um, at the far right and basically um, offices and just entryways for the employees. As we walk along, we are waiting on garage doors. Um, with everything nowadays, you never get it when you want it because everything's all backlogged or whatever, or sitting out in the ocean, I don't know. Um, but what we have here is we have four really large openings that we're gonna have garage doors in. So the garage doors are gonna be black and uh, they're gonna have windows on the whole front of the garage door. So as the garage doors uh, come down, they're gonna sit there on that ledge. So the purpose of the garage doors really is only for letting light in and airflow through, not necessarily as an entrance, at least for this space that we're looking at here. So now we have plastic over top of it just to keep the um, cold air out of the greenhouses and that's working pretty good. I mentioned that we had the siding. We also have really beautiful brick here at the bottom. And we were contemplating, do we wanna take the siding all the way down to the bottom or do brick or something? And we decided to do the brick. That way with shopping carts and such, they wouldn't break the siding. It would be a more harder surface if they were to bump into something that they would be bumping into. We have another garage door here that will let a lot of air flow in. And then our entryway is here. So this is not a garage door. This will be a sliding door, uh, but a nice big entryway. As we walk along, another garage door will go here. And two more garage doors, doors here and then just a little further. So this garage door actually is gonna be a functioning garage door because we do need to get in and out with a high-low. And so this is a little bit taller of a garage door that will allow us to get in the building through the high-low and just be an accessible space there. There's another window, uh, garage door that will be going there. And then actually, I don't know if I've taken you for a walk through the outdoor garden center. This was new last year. So let's just take a walk out in, out here. So this space here, right now we're obviously not using it because it's winter, um, but this was a nice open space that we created to have a, a nicer looking outdoor shopping area. So the benches have all been kind of moved right now. We'll take a corner and we'll look at those. Uh, in front of us here, this teal building, this is a new outdoor checkout area that we put in. Uh, that way in, in the summer, if we want to be more outside and not in the hot greenhouses, we have this little space that's air conditioned. 
if we need a place to kind of go for a little reprieve from the heat. This also is the entrance into our butterfly house, which I've done a lot of videos on the butterfly house. Uh, so you can check those out. Right now there's no butterflies in there because it's winter. Um, but this also serves as an entrance to that butterfly house area. Here is the other half of the outdoor, outdoor garden space. And you can see we've moved all the tables into this area for winter. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but just keeps them all together, I guess. As we head to the north side of the property, this is where we are expanding with four, one, two, three, four more greenhouses, I guess. Uh, so last year we put up these three here and now we're adding on to those in this space here and uh, what we did this summer is we got it all graded and laid out nicely we had the cement all poured ahead of time um, just because that way it was all ready for when the greenhouses came in so like other things the greenhouse material also was on a delay um, this getting the steel and stuff these greenhouses are declute greenhouses and they come out of Canada so um, I don't know if that's what the delay was, but there was certainly a delay in getting them. But we did finally get them about a month ago, and now the team is ready to get out here and get them assembled. So what they're working on right now is all of the main poles. You can kind of see them all sticking up in the sky. Those um, we put in, and then now they're hooking all the gutters up, which is what you're seeing right here this first run here that's a run of gutters so these are called gutter connect greenhouses and basically every space is connected by a gutter so then um, you'll have kind of that arch and then if it rains or something the rain will land in those gutters and then we have drains that those gutters will pour into that then take the water out to the ditch um, on the very far side of the property so this will probably take I don't know we're guessing maybe about two weeks or so for this job to get completed. So we'll see, hopefully the weather holds out. Like right now it's uh, December, what is it, 15 or so today. And it's supposed to get up to 60 degrees here in Michigan. That's not a normal temperature for Michigan this time of year. So for these guys to be out working in this 50, 60 degree weather, this is perfect for them. Uh, because can you imagine all the nuts and bolts and screws and stuff that goes into putting a greenhouse together? You really can't do that very good with gloves on. So your fingers get freezing, uh, especially if it's snowing out. So this is like really good for the fingers and to be building greenhouses in. So we get to listen to drilling all day, but that's fine. That means the project is being worked on and getting done. Okay, so I told you there was four greenhouses, but as I'm walking out here, like my head was telling me five, but I was only counting four spaces. So there are actually gonna be five greenhouses going out here. Um, but what we're doing is, so this little like right here thing, this is called what we call a knee board. And that's basically just kind of like the edges of the greenhouses. Um, the plastic will land on top of that. And I'm noticing that there's a knee board right here which typically that would be more like over in here but i remember now what we're going to do is this summer like next summer coming up we have what's called like a lean to which is like a half a greenhouse so instead of doing a complete arc from top to bottom it's like half so that lean to is what's going to go out into this fifth space so it'll be kind of like a half a greenhouse, I guess you would say. So that will get put up later on. But for now, at least we'll have these four greenhouses that will be functional this growing season. And this little extra part here will be uh, added on in the summer. So now that we're out here, you can see all the pieces to the greenhouses sitting out here. Um, there's the bows, which are the angly things in front of us. There's a lot of other little pieces and parts. So really, I mean, you think of a house and there's a lot of wood. When you think of a greenhouse, there's just metal everywhere. So um, yeah, a lot of pieces and parts goes together. 
We're also kind of more at the front of the property right now. And this is where we put in that new garden bed this summer. So the garden bed is right on this side of the fence and it goes, let's see here if I can do this, all right through here. So there's about a hundred foot garden bed that was planted this summer and fall. And we're doing that to kind of create a berm to sort of, it's not gonna hide the greenhouses because obviously the greenhouses are really tall, but that will give just kind of a little buffer, a little barrier, um, just something pretty looking that is um, out closer to the road. Once they're done building the greenhouses, we're gonna have to do something in this big muddy area here. Um, we didn't do anything there yet because we knew they would be taking big equipment through here and just totally tearing up this area. And you can really see that that is definitely the case. Like there is mud everywhere and ruts everywhere. So once they're all done next summer, maybe, maybe next spring, um, we'll come through, get this all graded back out again and then grass seed put in. Uh, we're also hoping maybe to put in, I don't know, we wanna put in maybe a couple trees in this area too to kind of give it like that a park-like feel. Um, there's a lot of shrubs in the berm, but the, the shrubs that we put in there aren't gonna get super tall. So we'll hope to put a couple trees in that will maybe get, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 foot tall or so, just to add to the look and to give it just a little bit of a softer, more park-like look as well. So this is where we're at as of December 15 with the construction project of the front of the garden center and the greenhouse is going up. We'll stay tuned to see what's coming up next. In the beginning of the video, you saw progress to what the outside of the garden center looked like. And here is what the inside looks like. So I know it seems a little silly that we insulated it because really greenhouses aren't that insulated. Um, but hopefully this will protect some of that wind from the west coming in and give us a little bit of, um, I don't know, just a little bit more warmth and maybe not so much wind peeking through little spaces. Uh, the plastic is there and that's where the garage doors are going to be going. Um, today the guys are up putting a uh, board and so they're covering up all the insulation. So we've got some board that goes up and that's going to be covering that. So once all the board's up, the board will get painted and we'll uh, have a finished off look here on the inside of the garden center or at least as finished as what it will be until the garage doors get put in. So I wasn't here yesterday while the guys were working. It was so windy yesterday, like 25 to 35 mile per hour winds with gusts up to, I think the biggest gust in the area was around 55 mile an hour. Um, but these guys were out here working and they made some progress. Um, so let's just take a look here at the progress that they've made. So in the last video, they were putting all the gutters up and the gutters are now all up. So yesterday they worked on putting trusses up and the trusses are the zigzag looking crossbars that you're gonna see as soon as I get here in line with the sidewalk. Uh, the trusses are all the things that are spanning from gutter to gutter, from pole to pole. So those really add stability and strength to the greenhouse. And then today they're working on putting the hoops up. So as we get to the end here of the sidewalk, I think we'll be able to see the hoops a little bit better. It looks like they've got about five or six of them up on the end, uh, but let's take a walk to the end so we can see better what they got going on. So it was like 50, 60 degrees um, when they were starting this with the first video I did. And today it's, oh, I think it's about 30 degrees. So it's significantly colder and it's much harder to work um, in the cold especially when you need your fingers to be nimble. Um, these on the ground here, these are the, the bows that are going up in the greenhouse and they have them started. So yeah, you can see on the end there, you can see the bows are going up. And then those will go the whole, the whole length of the greenhouse. And what they do is those are what hold the plastic and create that arching look so that any rain or snow that we get slides off and then the rain and water and snow goes into the gutters and then the gutters obviously drain down into the drainage ditch. Uh, so I anticipate today they'll get a pretty good distance with all these bows up there. Um, 
possibly even finished if they um, have a full day's in. So we'll see. Uh, I'll come back again tomorrow and take a look to see what the progress is and show you what they're going to be working on then for the next step in this process. It's been a few days since I've been out here checking on the progress of the new greenhouse range. Um, as you can tell, it's snowed since the last video and it's snowed quite a bit. The temperatures have been really cold. So with the wind and the snow and the cold temperatures, that's kind of set back the progression here a little bit. Um, but hopefully it'll warm up again soon in the next couple days and the guys can get back at it and do some more building. So let's take a look and see what they've done since the last video. So since the last time we were out here, the Lexan, which is that clear hard plastic, has been put on all the ends of the new greenhouses. Uh, they've created a doorway there and then a doorway here. So a garage door will go here. They've also put all of the, these are shutters up there at the top. So all of the shutters have gone in on the ends of all of these greenhouses. Um, the steel is all in, obviously. Uh, also, they put on all of the uh, vent arms. And if you look here above us, you can see kind of those little smiley face looking metal pieces. That is what the greenhouse uh, roof follows when it opens and closes when we need to let heat in or out of the greenhouse. So those arms have all been put on. Um, the ends down there at the very far end, also the Lexian's all been put on that space. The very side of the greenhouse where it looks a little bit more gray as we're walking, the shade cloth has been put up there. So the shade cloth goes on and then we'll put plastic on the outer side of that shade cloth. And then that way that plastic can just get rolled up and down uh, depending on where we're at in the season. So definitely a lot of progress has been made. And I think basically what needs to be done at this point is plastic needs to get put on the roofs as well as these ends here where I'm standing. And the more plastic we can use here on these ends, the more we can roll up and use curtains to let more airflow into the space. I mean, this space itself is a pretty large space. And so, uh, you know, added on to all the other spaces we have, the more we can put like a roll-up curtain on all of these greenhouses, the more we're allowing airflow to come in once the summertime heat kicks in. Um, I'm going to walk over here and show you the side of the previous greenhouse so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about roll-ups and curtains. So on this greenhouse here, you can see that there's plastic on it. And then um, if you can see the little ropes that are zigzagging from the top to bottom, that keeps the greenhouse plastic from flapping in the wind. And then you can also see uh, by that little black tube there, there's little um, zigzaggy metal things. And that's just holding that plastic in place so that the wind doesn't flop it. So there's the zigzaggy there, there's zigzaggy at the bottom. That will get removed once it's warmer and we want to roll these curtains up and then um, we can roll them up all the way to the very top so that will allow a lot of, allow a lot of airflow in this space. Uh, here is another um, look at it more close up and this is on like our north south ends of the greenhouse and we'll just hug it really close. So that's called wire lock that can get removed all along the edges here this wire lock all can get removed gets removed here at the bottom and then there's a, uh, it's covered with snow, but there's a tube down there. And this is a little crank handle and that will crank up this plastic all the way up to the top to let the air flow come through. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We'll see over the next uh, week what other progress is made. It's a new day and more progress is being made. One thing you'll notice is we now have plastic up on the greenhouses. So. That's not the sky you're seeing, that's plastic. Uh, they've also come through and you can see these power lines are kind of all wired up here. We have our furnaces now installed. So that's great because that means that we're getting ever so close to um, getting the inside work completed, which will be the plumbing and more electrical uh, lights and electric plugs and that kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely progress is being made. Uh, looks like 
The only plastic that has to get put on this greenhouse right now are the side curtains, which is where I'm walking right now. Um, this will have a roll-up curtain on it. And if you look here on the sidewalk, there's a big long tube and that's what the curtain will roll up on uh, once I get it put up. And then also on that far wall right now, it's still just the shade cloth. Uh, so that wall also is being prepped for the sidewall curtain to be put up. And it looks like they also have the tube here laid out so that, um, yeah, this is what they're going to be laying the, the curtain on is this tube here. And that just gets hooked, I don't know, somewhere along the side here of the greenhouse. So pretty exciting. Um, I'm still seeing lots of metal pieces and parts kind of sitting out here in the snow piles. So I'm not sure if these are extra pieces or if these are gonna be put into the greenhouse. Um, I don't know, that's not for me to worry about, I guess. Uh, one thing I will mention is um, the hanging basket lines. They are not up yet. So we put metal poles in here that the hanging baskets will hang on. And those I noticed were sitting here on the ground. So we'll walk over there a minute. Just seems kind of weird to have snow inside of an enclosed area, even though obviously it just got enclosed last night. So that's why there's so much snow. Um, so we're walking up here and there's all these pipes and these pipes are going to be what get put up in the ceiling for the hanging basket lines to hang on. So that is those, quite a lot of them. I always think it's kind of cool when they come into like the pattern of how they are here on this pallet. Kind of a honeycomb look. It's the little things that impress me, right? Uh, so too, once the heaters get all hooked up and ready, the, that will obviously melt the snow. So then we'll have to come through and smooth out all the soil that's in here. Right now it's rock hard frozen. So definitely the heaters gotta kick in and do their job so that that will get, um, softer so it can get moved around and then we'll come in and lay some black ground mat down too that way we have a nice surface to lay the plants on so uh, we'll see what progress is made in the next video so I'm currently in last year's uh, build this little area we're in right now is part of what we built last year and um, it's connected to the new build so I wanted to take you for a walk and just show you uh, this new area kind of in completion so you can get a feel for the size of the space So you can see where we're at now last year's area. We have the ground mats all in you can see the hoses um, All the drippers and sprinkler lines. They're all up. So this is all stuff that needs to get done yet in the new area uh, But the thing that's nice is it's all enclosed and the heaters are in so we now have a warm space to work in so as we head over to this new area, you can see there's a lot of supplies and stuff sitting here. This is all stuff they're gonna need as they're um, continuing finishing off this space. But uh, yeah, this lot of progress and it's so exciting to watch how things just kind of uh, transform in you know a little bit of time. So as we head in here, one thing I wanna point out is we did take the plastic that was dividing the old and the new space and put it on a roll-up curtain. So basically I know I've talked about roll-up curtains in earlier portions of this video, uh, but what we did is we put a shade cloth up so that way we can kind of keep it separated a little bit. And then the roll-up curtain is actually all the way up there at the top. You can see that crank handle and by cranking that handle that will roll the plastic down if we want the plastic down or rolling it up if we want it up. Uh, benefits of having it down is we can kind of climate control the different spaces to different temperature levels. Uh, the reason why it's up right now is we just want to kind of let the heat from both of these areas go together just to kind of keep this space warmer. And we also wanted to kind of get the sand melted because it was frozen solid from before the plastic was up in this greenhouse. So the furnaces are in. Things that they're working on right now is putting electrical in. You can see there's a lot of extension cords 
being run up to those furnaces, those are gonna all go away once the electrical all gets run in this house. You can see here they've got the box started. So this is gonna be probably a good week or so getting all the electrical run. Uh, things that run off the electric obviously would be lights. So they'll be installing lights. Uh, the the uh, dripper system, the on off switches that runs off of electric, um, fans, shutters, the vents, the vents up in the ceiling, those are gonna run off of electric. So a lot of things in this space do run off of electric. They're gonna also then, once the electric is done, they're gonna put these purlons up, these metal poles, and that's what the basket lines, the baskets will get hung on these. As long as drippers, they're gonna also get hung on these. So that's gonna be another step here. And then, yeah, obviously once these are hung, that's when the drippers and the water lines and stuff are gonna go up. So definitely taking shape. It's nice that it's enclosed. It's nice that it's warmer in here. So that way it's gonna be a more comfortable working environment. Uh, but basically this just, we added uh, one, two, three, four, four greenhouses. And then we're gonna also put a lean-to off the far end sometime this summer, not something that we're gonna do immediately, uh, but we do have space for essentially like another half of a greenhouse. So I wanted to show you the progress today and I think we're gonna um, go ahead and get this video posted just so you can kind of see what we've been doing over the winter and we'll keep updating you as time goes on when more changes and such happen. Uh, but I think this is a good point of just showing you where we're currently at, what has been done this winter, and uh, plants will soon be filling this space. So we're excited to get the ground mat rolled out eventually and get the plants in here. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.